Erev Tov. A summer fades into fall and we gather tonight to pray, sing, and reflect, each in our own space, but all of us together. Slichot invites us to turn inward, to prepare ourselves spiritually for the upcoming year. While we cannot help but notice how these holy days will be unlike any other, how these unprecedented times have stretched us beyond imagination, we can seek comfort in the timeless wisdom of our tradition and our Jewish calendar, who tonight beckon us to consider life's biggest questions. How have I moved through this last year? And how could I have moved through it with more kindness and meaning? Whose forgiveness do I need? And how do I tend to that? What has this last year taught me about who I am and who I want to be? We are grateful you are here. Let us begin early and work earnestly on our cheshbon hanefesh, our accounting of our soul, ahead and in preparation for the new year. We begin with the singing of Yadid Nefesh. Please join us. Shabbat comes to an end when three stars are visible in the evening sky. Havdalah literally means separation. It is the ritual that distinguishes between the sacred time of Shabbat and the ordinary time of the rest of the week. Our time to notice the separation of time and to the transitioning to the week ahead. To assist us, we draw on the sweetness of the wine or the juice sanctifying the day, the calming scent of the bisamim of the spices, and of the light and warmth cast by a multi-wicked candle inspiring us for the work of the coming week. This evening, as we bid shalom to Shabbat, we pray for peace, gladness, and increasing joy in the week ahead. And with Rosh Hashanah soon upon us, we add slichot, our prayers asking for pardon and forgiveness from God. Havdalah is our distinction with possibility for new beginnings. Please join us.
Amavdil ben Kodesh, ben Kodesh lechol, hadoteinu chuyim chol, zareinu vechaspeinu, yarbeir bekachol, vechakohavim balayla. Join us, please, as we continue with the singing of Olam Chesed Yibane. Last sliver of the moon, the waning crescent, small and slender, glowing in the east, at the end of the journey, a curve of silver barely there that fades away with the dawn, faintest light the eye can discern, like the soul within me barely there, waning and weary as the year winds down. At the end of the journey, the old moon flickers out and darkness awaits the new, now, in the stillness, we can feel it being born. Remind us, the horizon will be bright again. The waxen crescent will rise. Heal our hearts, gather us in from the darkness, and restore the light within us. The psalmist sang, at midnight I rise to give thanks and praise. And so we come to this hour of slichot, under the canopy of night, to celebrate goodness, to proclaim what is right and true, to praise, to thank, to bless the great giver who gives and renews our lives. We turn to loved ones, to friends, and to our people everywhere, to the whole house of Israel. And our hearts turn toward the human family. We pray for its healing. Yet hardest of all is the inward gaze, the return to ourself, the honest reckoning of the soul, cheshbon ha-nefesh, we ask. How to account for selfish acts, lies, and senseless anger? How to account for the shadows, the storms, the bitterness in our lives, the damage and distress we cause? 
how to own up to it all and find our way back with integrity in peace. We ask, have we the will to change? And if not now, when? It is for each of us to consider. What is the nature of my cheshbon hanefesh this year? What should be my focus as I examine my deeds and my direction from now until Yom Kippur? What is unresolved in my heart? What questions are on my mind? What is unclear, uncertain, and unsettled in my life? What decisions have I been putting off or avoiding? Is there one change I would like to make in the way I am living my life? and relating to other people? When I look over my accounts, what do I see? Which personal qualities need repair and strengthening? What habits of mind, character, and behavior need correction? Which relationships in my life are most challenging at this time? We are taught Days are scrolls, write on them only what you want remembered. But we remember our weakness, and our days bear the mark of all that went wrong. On this night, we have hope in the one who sustains us. Though we stumble and falter, you promise forgiveness. If we stray from the truth, you do not forsake us. If we sink to the depths, your mercy uplifts us. If our urges betray us, your compassion is endless. If we distance ourselves, you do not disdain us. If we abandon your teachings, still you embrace us. If we seek you sincerely, your presence surrounds us. If we pray from the heart, you listen with yours. Though we stumble and falter, we are blessed by your promise. Master of wonders, mother of souls, forgive the darkness in our hearts, our loss of hope. Pardon our distraction, our ears closed to the pleas of the poor, and lead us to atonement.
Notice the river at break of dawn, a braid of streams, creeks, and brooks, a dance of insects near the shore. Notice how brackish where the river meets the sea, how with grace the river hugs the shore, fierce in its rising, fiercer when it falls. Notice it all, how it bends, how it tells the time of year, and how smooth the boulders are that guide its course. Notice the Holy One in blessing and in beauty, in acts of repair, in the unearthing of truth, in eyes that meet in the tumult of change, in words of forgiveness, in the bridges we build to those we hurt in the flow of a year, in the course of a journey, in rising and falling, in the bend of a river, in the hand we hold out to those who hurt us, in the life we are living, in blessing, and in beauty. Now is the time that we notice the change of our tour mantles from beautiful multicolor to beautiful white, symbolizing our own potential for holiness and purity. The book of Isaiah teaches us, even though your transgressions be like crimson, they can turn snow white. God is waiting for us and anything is possible. In body or in spirit, we invite you please to rise. Please be seated. A precious teaching I have given you, my Torah, do not forsake it. A tree of life to those who hold it fast, all who embrace it know happiness. Its ways are ways of pleasantness, and all its paths are peace. Take us back, Adonai, let us come back to you. Renew in our time the days of old. We continue now with our vidui, with our confession. As the days of awe near, we reach for the infinite. Mindful of our frailty, we seek the holy. Despite our mortality, we carry within us the ancient of days. Despite loneliness within, we sense that we belong to a single soul, a spirit that fills the entire universe. Let us find in that universal spirit a new source of strength and significance, more compassion, more generosity, more gratitude for life. Let our hearts be open to self-reckoning 
and may we grasp how vital to our lives is Teshuvah, the path of return. On this night of forgiveness, we confess our wrongs and take account of sins, failures of judgment, weakness of will. The hour is late, our need to be forgiven profound. We continue each of us in our own way, at our own pace, in silence.
For these sins, our God, we ask forgiveness. The ways we have wronged you under duress and by choice. The harm we have caused in your world deliberately and by mistake. The ways we have wronged you openly and secretly. The harm we have caused in your world consciously and unconsciously. The ways we have wronged you by hating without cause. The harm we have caused in your world through gossip and rumor. The ways we have wronged you through a selfish or petty spirit. The harm we have caused in your world by hardening our hearts. We stray and we sin, when we fail to make peace the highest good and when we are silent in the face of evil, when we forsake those who suffer far away and when we shun the wronged and the destitute among us, when we diminish God's image through violence or indifference and when we fail to take care of those who depend on us, when we engage in slander or deceit and when we distort the truth for personal gain, when we judge others rashly or unfairly, and when we stoke the fires of communal strife, when we fail to embrace Torah, the tree of life, to walk its paths and to make its ways our own, we stray and we sin, when we offer no blessings, no words of thanks, for the breath within us and for the wonder of being. From the place where we are right, flowers will never grow in the spring. The place where we are right is hard and trampled like a yard. But doubts and loves dig up the world like a mole, a plow, and a whisper will be heard in the place where the ruined house once stood. I asked myself, who's listening to these words of confession? Magnificent ear of the universe, are you my personal confidant? Or am I just talking to myself? Then I got it. The question is a diversion to distract me from hearing who I really am.
Imagine how our lives might be if everyone had even a bit more of the wisdom that comes from seeing clearly. Suppose people everywhere simultaneously stopped what they were doing and paid attention for only so long as it took to recognize their shared humanity. Surely the heartbreak of the world's pain visible to all would convert everyone to kindness. Please rise. Hear, O Israel, hear now the heartbeat of Israel in the quiet space between a year that is ending and a year that begins. Hear the call of hope and joy, and hear the call of repentance and renewal. Hear the call to create and to embrace. Hear the call to restore and to heal. Hear the call to atone and perfect, to search the soul and account for every deed. Hear the call to wrestle with sins and flaws, to fight injustice and serve the suffering. Hear the call to gather in the scattered sparks of divinity and hear the call to seek the core of our humanity. Hear the call of compassion and forgiveness. Hear the call to return to Torah, to our people, to the one who teaches love and patience, mercy and truth. Hear the commanding sound of teshuva. Hear the urgent call of tikkun. Avinu malkenu shema kolenu. Avinu malkenu almighty and merciful, hear our voice. Avinu malkenu chatanu lefanecha. Avinu malkenu we have strayed and sinned before you. Avinu malkenu chamol alenu ve'al ol alenu v'tapenu. Avinu malkenu have compassion on us and our families. Avinu malkenu kalei dever v'cherev v'ra'av me'alenu. Avinu malkenu halt the onslaught of sickness, violence, and hunger. Avinu malkenu kalei kol tsar umastin me'alenu. Avinu malkenu halt the reign of those who cause pain and terror. Avinu malkenu kot venu besefer chayim tovim. Avinu malkenu enter our names in the book of lives well lived. Avinu malkenu chadesh alenu shana tova. Avinu malkenu renew for us a year of goodness. the sound and the power of the shofar to move within us and to change us for the year to come. Takia. Takia. Takia Gedola. Wishing you well in the week ahead and looking so very forward to seeing you back for Rosh Hashanah. Erev Tov. <laughs>